All right, today is May 30th, 2022. It is day 112 of Blender, and today I'm going to try to model a door. And so I'll start from scratch. So I'm going to hover over this edge over here, do a vertical split, go over here, go to editor type, which is here, top left corner, go to image editor, scroll a little bit down with your button, click on open, and just kind of um, find the image that you want to replicate and put it in there. There we go. And then I'm also going to do the same thing over here at the viewport on the right side. I'm going to delete the cube by pressing X. I'm also going to turn on my shortcuts real quick so you can see my steps right here. Top, wait, bottom right, not top right. Bottom right corner. Um, I'll do Shift A to add a mesh and I'll do image and I'll go to reference. And then I'll just get the same picture. And it might look weird, so you might want to adjust the um, rotation. So I'll go to object properties go to y0 set z to 0 and set the x to 90 degrees okay and then i'm going to go to front view by clicking on the button under the escape key and pressing on front view and then what i'll do is i'll turn on snapping which is the top over here and snap to increment should be like that already and i'll do g and then do z to snap it basically um above the x axis so which is the red axis so we can have it looking like that Turn off snapping, you can do this by also pressing shift and tab to turn it off. Um, Alright, and then I'm going to do shift, actually I'll turn on x-ray mode. Um, you can do this by pressing alt-z or clicking here top right. Um, x-ray, not mode, but x-ray toggle. And you'll see why in a second. So I'll do shift a mesh and I'll add a plane. And the plane is going to be like here, but maybe you want to rotate it on the x like that, just like that. And then I'll just kind of do g and z to move it up. Um, G, Z to move it up, and then um, I'll go to front view so I can scale it accordingly. I'll scale it on the X, so S, X, like that, and then I'll just go into edit mode and go to edge select by pressing this button here, top left, and then select the bottom edge and then press G and then Z to bring it all the way down. I believe that's that's good. So then what I'll do, I'll go to modifier, I'll go back to object mode by pressing um, tab. By the way, to get into edit mode, you can go here and click on edit mode, or you can just press tab to go um, back and out of that. Um, so I'll go to modifiers, add modifier, go to solidify, press, I'll go, I'll actually move so that you can see the effect of it. Um, you can press one, and that's just going to make it thick, like, towards the front here, towards front view. So I'll go back to front of you by clicking the button under the escape key. And at this point we have our basic setup and I want to apply the solidify modifier so we can actually work with the mesh. Um, so what I'd like to do is I just like to copy things, shift D. So I'll do GX here. Um, and then, okay, so let's start with this, right? So I'll start with this space. Um, I'll start maybe with going to edit mode by clicking on tab, going to face, selecting this face here, um, in setting. It's weird because I can't see it. Am I not selecting? Oh, there we go. Okay, select the object, click on front view by clicking the button under escape key and clicking on front. Um, and then select this face and then we'll inset the face. Why am I not seeing it? I did apply the modifier, right? Oops. Scale. Tab. Oh, because I didn't select it properly. It's over here. So select face. Um, I kind of want to work without toggle right now. Hold on. So that when I select it, just select it like that. Okay, turn that on. Like the face inset, I'm kind of about the size of the the whole door, and then, which is so weird. Anyway, um, I'll do scroll all the way here edge select kind of adjust it as need be so maybe on the x move it over here maybe move this down g to the z over here 
move this one G C over here um, kind of like that and then maybe this one we can move a G and then I think it's the x-axis over here and then we have that going for us um, what I'll do is now that we have this I will inset this face again kind of about the same size as this thing over here and I'll scale it on the X by pressing SX to scale it make it wider like that and then maybe just select this edge here and GZ make sure that you have edge select on which is over here um, and then um, I'll make I'll click on face select and I'll probably most likely make this its own face over here so I'll select this oh, this one and I'll do P by selection to make it its own thing so now it's its the door when we click on it okay um so the door right there and oh you know what i messed up on i forgot to extrude so i think i'll have to do control z yeah i'll have to do control z so let me do control z before like to undo all of that like before making it its own object and renaming it so until plane 2 disappears okay there we go so before doing that I'll go back to front view and I'll select everything well not really everything just maybe just these edges here and then I'll go here and um, I'll just extrude right Actually, hold on, am I missing something? So I have the top, and then inside. Yeah, I think I am missing something. Um, actually, no, I'm not, I'm fine. So I'll just select everything, and then extrude a little bit on the Y, so E and then Y. And then I'll extrude this face. Do face select, and then select this face. And then extrude that one on the Y, right? So now if you go and turn that off, you can kind of see how that looks like. Okay, anyway, um, but maybe it's not that, I don't care too much anyway. Anyway, so I'll, now I believe I can do P by selection and call it the door. And then I can select the door okay and I'll just subdivide it how I like it so I'll do I'll go back into solid take this off edit mode and I'll go to front view select this and then bless you and then I'll do I subdivide it to like loop cuts so I'll do one here I want like equally spaced loop cuts so let me escape and do control Z do control R and then do like I want three right three I think and just it's just weird though like I don't maybe I don't need three maybe I just need two so control R and then two exactly yeah like right there in the middle and maybe we can, nope, 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 nope. Maybe I can move this one, G, is that over here? And then this one, G, Z over here. Kind of like that, maybe, maybe not. Okay, um, that's good. And then I'll do A to select everything. And then I'll essentially just do face select, select this face, and inset it. I don't need to inset it. I can just do control R, hover over this edge, and just do the following like that. Um, oh, it looks like it happens to be two doors. Oh, whoops, messed up on that part. Oh, great. So what if I could just delete this part from here on outwards? Just delete those faces, and then I'll just duplicate later. Um, so in this case, do face select 
go here and set here. Um, like a little bit like that. Maybe scale, um, not scale it, do G and then actually, you know, yeah, scale it on the Z. Um, and then I'll do another inset. Do something like that. Scale it on the X. And then to kind of see here at the bottom, I'll do face select and then point what I'll do is I'll grab the whole thing and I'll just do shift D and then oops and then do G I would probably should have done turn on snapping to vertex and then do G X to move it towards the right and then hover over this vertex over here and then you know what I should have done I should have given it some space so I'll probably um, go to edge select and maybe I don't know I should have I should have selected these main edges here and then just do G but that would have been really bad GX yeah it looks bad it's okay we could leave it like that so that's apparently what we have but apparently we can't see any of that because I forgot to extrude of course I did why would I not forget to extrude the one thing that I had to do great and I couldn't extrude oh my god I messed up again because I didn't apply a solidify modifier isn't that just great so what I'll do is I'll select the whole thing, I'll go here, add modifier, add solidify modifier, and um, just let me look, let me see how it looks like, I need it to have more thickness, whoa. Okay, not that big of a deal, man. All right, something like that, and so I'll apply that. So back into edit mode. Okay, I was going to extrude, I forgot. Okay. So I'll extrude. Oh, this is so irritating. Can I just do like face selects like here? Oh, I'll do alt and then whoa, what is that? Well that's ugly. I guess I'll just have to individually select these oh I think I this is weird okay if I just go to x-ray mode um, and I extrude 
on the Y a little, maybe too much. Let me turn off snapping. What the heck did I do now? Oh, not this again. How do I turn this off? Okay. Alright, let me look at what this looks like here in solid mode. Ugh, what the? This is not, this does not need to take so long. Like, I'm just being careless right now. Oh my god. Like, it looks weird. Let me turn on the cavity. Okay, there we go. Looks better. Alright, so edit mode. No, this thing, the door. And then I'll also extrude this on the Y. That way it looks kind of like that. Okay, great. And then, oh my god, I should have... Is this a mental joke? I'm literally so irritated right now. I sh probably should have deleted this. Oh my god, I'm so done. Did I make a copy? So it's one to make a copy, that's so weird. Alright, anyway. So that's one thing that's done. Um, and then this itself has, um its own thing. What the heck did I do now? Edit mode. Select these edges. EY. Um, do the same thing for this one. So we'll just select these faces on the Y like that and then this one will select an extrude on the Y like so okay and then oh I messed up they're supposed to be in the same category here so I'll do edge select edge select and scale this on the X so it's kind of like that maybe front view um, let me do control Z. So go here and I'll select these edges here and this one, hold on, this one, this one, and this one and just scale it on, not scale it, grab it on the x-axis a little bit. Or maybe not, I should have just done everything like here. Why is it so hard? Grab X. So it starts there. Same thing here. Grab X. So it starts like right there. And then these. Oh, it's because this is its own thing. I'm so confused. Select this edge. Grab. No, I want this edge. Grab X over here and then grab this one gx over here okay perfect and then i'll turn on my x whoa wait what happened yo are you kidding i have no idea what just happened right now um okay that looks better and then over here we'll do the same thing so i'll go to face select Extrude this on the Y a little bit. And then I'll select these faces as well. And extrude these on the Y. Oh, actually, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, I should have, yeah. Something like that. Okay, there we go. Looking something. Looking like something, not looking something like what? I just need some more. Like, 
late. I mean, it looks better like this. All right, finally. Okay, so then we'll select this whole thing. Do Shift D. Um, whoops, before doing that, let me turn on my vertex mapping and then just do G, X, and then hover over there. And now we have our door, finally. Okay, um, now to the easy part. Um, I'll do Shift A and I'll do a cube. No, Control Z. Shift A, do a cube. Um, scale it on the Z axis, something like that, right? Um, scale it on the Y axis, something like that. Maybe move it over here on the Y axis, over here. Um, I will scale it on the X axis to be something like that. I should probably turn on my X ray so I could actually see the sizing here. So, front view. Um, I'll turn on face snapping and I'll actually do um, GY so it snaps to the face over here. What the heck of the cube? Why can't it just snap to the face? Oh, because well, I never turned it on. <laughs> okay, turn that on by pressing shift tab or just doing that. Um, but it's so weird. Why does it always snap to the actual opposite side of what I want it to snap to? If I go here to front view. It's just literally so weird. Okay, I guess that's not working. So, G, Y. And I'll just go back to front view by clicking the button under the escape key and then scaling it, scaling it on the X until it kind of reaches that size. G, X, move it a little bit over here. Maybe go and grab individually this edge here, edge select, and then just do G, X to move it, to grab it on the X. And then... Uh, um, <clears throat> what to do, what to do, and then I'll do another, oh, I probably should have made it bigger, but it's not that it's bigger, it's just that it has a different perspective, which is weird, so I think what, um, it's like, it, it takes this face here, no, not this face, this face. And I think it rotates it, like, let me look. Something like that, yeah, that's what it looks like here. So, G, Z. G, so it looks something like that, like this. You can move it over here. And then this. Um, let me see this edge over here. You can just move it over. This edge is this one actually over here. This one is actually this. This edge. I'm so lost right now. This doesn't even exist right now. This one is the one I'm so lost I don't know what I'm doing like I completely this one is the one at the top and so I'll t select this one to be rotated this way and then just moved over here and rotate a little bit like this and then this one is synos I don't even know man this one is supposed to be here rotated um I don't even know. Rotated some way. No. I kid you not. I have no idea what I'm doing. I was trying to do it in perspective, but I'm just going to do Control Z 5,000 times and go back to what I had. And it's not even going back to what I had. Great. So I'll just do 0, 0, 0. Alright, and then go to front view. I was just trying to put things in perspective, but I guess not. Um, and then I'll just do, I'll guess, you know what I guess I will do? I will do A, and I'll just do GC. i just move things. Kind of like that, and then like scale it on the side a little bit. And then I'll just do shift D, and I'll just move it on the Z. I said move it on the Z over here. And just scale it on the X so it's kind of like that question mark. 
um, scale it on the X a little bit, just take, and then maybe scale it on the Z a little bit, GZ, move it down, have it there, but scale it over here on the Z a little bit more, well, it's kind of like that on GZ over here. Alright, so then at that point, um, there is another thing. So let me look up how it's looking like right now. Ew. Oh my god, why? Okay. Um, so I'll take, go into object mode. Um, let me do something. Object relations set single user object data materials i just don't understand why it's the same thing Ugh, whatever can i just scale it why is it doing that oh my god oh it's because i sh oh it's because i jesus christ what did i do um great it's because i made this new mesh in edit mode instead of Oh, come on. Delete the face. I mean, delete the vertice. Okay. Have to do this actually not in edit mode. But of course, why would I do something that's correct? <sighs> Faces. Okay, there we go. Um, select this and then do G on the Y. Put this. Oh, you're kidding me. Shift tab G Y. There we go. G X. Um, just to kind of have some perspective, this is bigger on the X. G X. And then uh, what was I gonna do? It looks like it's ingrained inside. <laughs> Bless you. Oh my god, you're kidding me. It's not even on the thing. This is so irritating. G Z. G Y. There we go. Um, scale it on the X maybe a little bit. And then I'll do Shift D. Right? And then um, I'll do G Z. So it snaps here. And scale it on the X by pressing S X. Scale it on the Z by bringing it down a bit. GX over here, put it somewhere in the middle, probably should do the same here, GX, okay, and then GY to like move it there, and then I was thinking that this could actually, I could go here, and I could do control R, and do like a loop cut around here and a loop cut around here and then I could just um, extrude this face over here by pressing face select turning on x-ray and just getting this face over here to um, turning off x-ray to basically extrude on the Y something like that so it goes kind of like inward like that and so, yeah, that's what I'm trying to go for there. Um, yeah, and so I think I got the model done. Um, only thing is I'm missing the top part over here. So what I think we'll do, we'll do Shift A. Um, actually, you know what? I'll just Shift D this and then move it up. G Z over here, and then oops, never mind. Actually, maybe I shouldn't have done that because this thing is extruded over here. Um, I could just turn on x-ray mode and then just extrude back on the y question mark? Probably not. Yeah, no. Oh my god, I'll just delete it, I guess. I'll just delete it. I'll just do another one. So let me do, actually, I'll duplicate this big one here. Shift D, G, Z over here. Scale it on the Z. Um, scale it on the X. Something like that. GX. 
G Z. What was I gonna do again? Oh yeah, okay. G Y. No, I mean S Y to scale it down on the Y. Something like that. Um, and then maybe move it a little bit on the X by doing G X here. Um, let's see, G Z to move it a little bit up on the vertex, actually like that. And then, um, let's see what else. I mean, it looks better like that, honestly, but I know it's not like that. It's actually inwards. So I'll do G Y because it is inward like that. And then I'll do shift D and then make this my wood copy. But then this cube here, I'll do select that, select the mesh and do control minus to make a booling. And so now the actual wood, I can scale it and you'll see that. Well, it created an empty, but not so much as I wanted to or the way that I wanted it to. Oh. Oh, let's see what I did. Hmm, let me do control Z. Because it's supposed to be all, like, all the way in. Ugh, I don't want to do this. I mean, I think it worked how it should have worked. Let's see. I don't even know. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, okay, so we have the model. Let me delete this then. Um, and now let's get into texturing. Or should I leave that for tomorrow? Nah, I'll get into it now. Um, so I'm going to save it just before it crashes because... Sometimes it decides to do that. So 5, 30, 22. Okay, save Blender file. All right, so I'm going to go to one of my favorite websites because girl has no knowledge in how to do her own textures. And so she just basically downloads PBR always. So it's ambient CG. So I'm gonna look for some really nice materials. By the way, I got this image from Unsplash as always. Um, so I'll start with the door, so let's see, it's kind of, the door is kind of, actually, what if I search up door? Oh, great. Okay, I guess we're going to have to look through. Um, looking for something scratchy. just do the following here and I'll just take this image here okay um so it's kind of like what the hello rude okay so let's see what I'm looking for I don't even know what I'm looking for no no Oh, I'm so dumb. I can just do wood, but, and then just change the color. Like, what is gold? Like, literally, what's wrong with me sometimes? So it's wood, because obviously it's wood, but it's, like, scratchy. It's, like, um, and you can see the lines. Um, and it's very scratchy. So kind of something like this, but this is very muted. I need something more powerful or more, um, evident. Not, like, floor wood. I need something, like that um no 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 mm. ooh on the floor wood yeah something like this okay wood 016 Mm. This is like a cork material. 
Um, wood 016 is the one I'm looking for right now. Well, I'm like putting my eye on. Oh, this! This is one. So this one's a good too. It's a plank 005. Wood 016. So wood 16 and plank 5. Wood 16 and plank 5. So I think I'm going to go with um, maybe wood 16. Whoops. I know for a fact that there is a wood 016. Are you kidding? Can we please right now? You're kidding. I literally just saw it. Like, it's literally gaslighting me right now. I need to know. Great, now I lost it. Oh, is it this one? Wait, what? Was it? Am I going crazy? It was 035? I'm so sure it was not. Zero thirty six, you think? Mm. Yeah, I might just be going like crazy right now. Mm. I just don't know if I could change the color. Um, because I've tried before and it hasn't let me. Hmm. Now I lost the one that I wanted. Great. I think I want to go with this one though. Or maybe this one. Or maybe this one. Or maybe this one. I need one with like black um, plushes. Like what do you call it? Splashes? I don't even know. I'll download the 4K one. Um, And so let's look with. Let's look for like the background. I don't even think it's. I don't even know. I, I, I feel so sad because like I feel I wish I could do the background because I know that you can do that like I know it looks like I know it's so easy but I kid you not I have no idea how to do it I just don't know um all right so let's go here and try to get something for the floor so something like cement oh something like that that needs to be dirtier um, so let me go and search something up like cement. Are you kidding me? Is that like- you're joking. You're literally joking. Oh wow, look at this sand, it's so beautiful. Alright, anyway. Um, oh pavement. Please let there be pavement. Oops. Eh. No, not really. It's not what I want. Um, let's see. I need something like rusty. Not rusty, but like gray. Wow, this sand texture is so beautiful. Maybe, okay, I'll just go with this one. So I'll download the 4K of this one too. And then the background, I don't even know what to tell you. I don't even know what the background is. Um, let's do... Material, so maybe something like that, but I need to be like really dark brown. Um, maybe something like this. I just hope I could change the color. Let me download the 4K, and then okay, it's probably these. This is probably gonna be different colors, um, and then maybe I don't know, like a 
I think I'm just gonna do like a yellow background. Um, let's see. Stone, dark brown, pavement, paving, gray, wall. Let's do wall and try to find something yellow. Okay, let's do something like that. Let's do AK. I probably should not be downloading these as like AK and stuff. All right, so I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna go to, where have my things been downloading? Here, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, so let me just close this out and then I'll go back to this one. No, this one's still downloading, this one's still downloading. It told me it downloaded already, like what? So this one, I will just move to my desktop. All right, and then I'll do the same for the other one. Oops, what's going on? Let me get out of here and then I'll do over here new folder and I will call it um, plaster. This is for the ground. Oops. So I'll just put all of these in there. And then I'll go ahead and delete all of these from here. Yes. And then I'll go to the other one and I'll go here and just move them to the desktop and then click on new folder and call it wood and I'll just select these and put this in the wood folder and then we'll delete these here and just close this out wood folder and I'll just leave these there for now and then now I think what else am I missing did this thing even download brick spark plaster I'm so confused I don't even know what's what. Extra large icons. Can't even see them. Okay, I guess. Bricks and bark. Um, which one is this? This one is bark, and so I need to do bricks. So let me do bricks. So I'll take all of these and put this over here. Oh, this one's the background. So let me do new folder. I'll do wall. Just put that in there. And then what's the other one that I'm missing? Um, I did. So bricks, brick, plaster, and I think this one, this is the one that I'm missing. Bless you. Let me put that in there, and then I don't even know. Oh, I don't even know, man. Let me just do new, new folder, and call it, I guess, wood to, what did I even use it? Oh, the door. Every day, every day, I just forget things, man. I'm a little out of it. I don't even know what I'm saying. Okay, door. Oh, this thing is so slow. Door. Door. Okay, here we have our materials. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Now that we have everything, finally. Let's go to Blender. Let's go to Shading. Any day now. Any day now would be great. Um, and what I'll do is, oh, wait, yeah, okay, let me do control S, whoa, 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 no, control S to save, all right, so, um, can I just delete this? So ugly, literally, so much light, what if I go here? 
No, it's probably going to break my computer. Okay, let's go here and let's click on, let's start with the background. And I'll click on new and I'll go here to control shift and T. And that won't work if you don't have your node wrangler on. So you turn that on by going to edit preferences, going to add-ons, I believe, and then searching up node wrangler and make sure that's um, checked for you. So control shift T and that's going to pop this up for you. I'll go to my desktop where everything is. What did I say I was going to do? The background? So that's the wall, right? And I'll just go here into my wall folder and then just hover over everything, select everything, and click principal texture setup. So that's what we're doing. We're doing a textured setup. That's what it, but that's what we're doing. What am I saying? That's what, what, that's what we're doing is called. I don't even know how to form a proper sentence right now. That is what that's what's called that is what that is what we're doing that is what we're doing called that doesn't make sense oh it's not going to work if you don't select principal bsdf so control shift t do that again so my desktop wall go here principal texture setup and then wait and hopefully it doesn't crash okay so back to my sentence that is what we're that is what what we're doing that is what we're doing that is what we're doing is called that is what we are doing that is a that is the name of what we're doing i don't even know at this point i don't care oh uh, well would you look at that um it's a little weird it's like very weird actually so hold on let me go to uv editing um um, let's see, I want to, what the heck, material, okay, if I were to just press G, I think that would do anything, so let me delete this, and then just, what is going on? I'm not changing. Oh, control C, Control C. Are you kidding me right now? Great. You know, I don't even care how it looks like. I'm just gonna leave it. Okay, um, then I'm going to go select this wood, click on new, select principal uh, shader, and then go to my desktop, control shift D, then go to my desktop, and then click on wood, question mark, yes, put that in there, and then just wait, these are definitely not going to be the same colors, because I doubt that I can change the colors, I feel like I did it once, but I don't remember how, that is so ugly, Jesus Christ, that is like really bad. Okay, and then the door, add, I might as well just do my own colors because this is so bad. Um, desktop, door, this is going to be so bad, bro. It's official, I'm done. This looks so bad. Like, you can barely see the indents of anything. And, like, you can see that it's not even, like, straight. Like, at the... Like, it's... Ugh, oh, why does this happen to me? And then, new... Control-Shift-T. Desktop. 
background this. Hmm. I also think this bottom thing is very unrealistic, so I'll do scale and then Z. And then I'll just do Shift D and then do GZ up in here and then scale on the X. Something like that. Or maybe scale this one on the X. And then scale this one on the X. The whole point though is that it's... Ugh, oh, why do I do this to myself? Now this one, I'll have to go into edit mode, select the space, grab it on the Y. And then go here, do the same thing, select the space, G, and then Y a little bit. So that at least there's like room to step. Alright, and then do the same for here. Which material is this? Oh my god, it's so cute. A three-fingered baby sloth that fell out of a tree was reunited with its mom. After staff members at the Jaguar Rescue Center in Costa Rica played back the recording of the sound of his cries. Oh, I love animals. Okay, this is material four. Anyway, sorry about that. I was on Instagram. Okay, um, material four. Go here, material four. So we have to do five thousand times. Okay, this is where we ended up. You can barely even see the actual door, which absolutely sucks. But I guess it's. It's okay. Um, the color. Is there any way to change the color? Why can't it just be... If I delete this, it literally changes the whole thing. Actually, no, you can kind of see... Oh my god, yes! This is what I wanted! If I were to just go to... Where's the image? It's not here. Nope, wrong thing. Kind of like a woody color so let me click on my extensions my color picker here and do some sort of this brownie color <laughs> um go here please don't freeze on me i'll just delete the base color can i no okay great um, so I guess I'll, I just don't want it to create, I don't want an image. I'll just do this. Oh, there we go. See, I knew I could do it. I knew it was possible. Oh my god, then that means I can do the same thing for the door. Oh my god, thank god. I was so worried about it. Okay, let me delete that. I was like, I knew I did it before. I can do it again. Something like this color. Go to hex, turn it to this. There we go. Still can barely see anything. But at least it's something. Um, and, oh my god, wait, I messed up. Where is the... Did I just... Oh my god, the edges were supposed to be extruded, I forgot. These edges over here were supposed to be like... Not these ones, but these ones at the side. They're supposed to be kind of like extruded on the Y. Kind of like that. What the heck? This edge was not supposed to be extruded. Just go back, please. What's going on? 
extrude it on the Y like that. <gasps> that is not. Why does it look good from the side, but it looks so bad from the front? Like you can see no depth. <clears throat> then why is there a triangle at the top? Like what in the world? Yo, this is like insane. Okay, let me do control Z. Great. I really want some popcorn right now. I'm gonna put some on. Even though it's almost midnight. That's really yeah. healthy of me. Adding No, this thing is frozen. If this thing like crashes, I'm done. Like I literally am done. I don't even care. Okay, let me do control S before it goes crazy. Literally <laughs> Great. Five hours. Okay, thank God. So I'll do control S. There we go. Um, I'll do oh, I forgot what I was gonna do. Oh. What the heck? Interesting. Oh. Interesting. If I go here and I move this. Ah, that's where I messed up. Well, that's a problem. And I don't feel like solving it. So anyway, um, I'm gonna just go ahead and just take this and, and I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know what I'm doing right now. I think I'll just have to, I don't know, deal with it. So let me select these edges again. I just don't know, these are just weird looking edges here. Like, you see the difference? I think I may have deleted. It's so weird, but it looks the same, so what's the issue? You know what? I don't care enough. And then just extrude on the Y, have vertex snapping on. Yeah, we're just gonna leave it like this. It's the same thing, bro. Um, I think I'm gonna have to like render this from the side anyway. Um, I'm so sure that I can fix this with UV mapping, but I don't know why it's not working actually. Like it's literally not working. Interesting. Oh, because uh, I'm not even holding the actual right texture. Hold on. Oh. Ew. Ew. That's so weird. Oh my god, if this thing does this thing again, I'm done. Like, I'm literally done. <laughs> oh, I was going to do something and I forgot. Um, you know what? Maybe I could just extrude these faces a little bit more. Maybe that way you'll see it. So I'll extrude these faces a little bit more to the Y. What's in the back? What the heck? Oh my god, not again. I literally can't even do control Z without this thing going crazy. I just want to leave. Watch that. 
bad wake up like right now. <sighs> Great. How oh, would you look at that? Okay, that's a little better. Um, I guess you can see that now. Is that even a thing? I'm so confused. Not like it matters anymore. Alright, so we're gonna end it here, man. I can't do this anymore. Um, let me go to layout, control S. Um, I'll hover over this edge here, join areas, go this way. Okay, go to cycles. Well, it's not cycles yet. I'll do cycles right here. I'll do shift A. I'll do plane. Scale it to maybe five. Bring that downwards. Turn on face snapping. GZ so it face snaps to the bottom here of the whole ordeal. And then I will add a light so that it looks like an actual face right now. Where's the light? G here. And I'll go to light object data properties and turn it to five okay and then what i'll do is i'll go to the ground um let's see she said um i tried okay i really just tried I can just move this G to a little bit at the bottom. And I'll do actually um what should I do? Should I do like a pavement on the ground? If I go to shading and I click on new Um, I'll do material for that has the same kind of texture there. Whoa. I don't care enough. <laughs> Go back to cycles. Layout. Um and yeah, so let's let's render that. Let me just make sure. Edit prefaces, preference preferences. I can't even speak. Make sure my emulate numpad is on, scale it on the X, this thing, scale it on the Y. Okay, and then what I'll do is I will edit mode, go to edit mode, click on edge select, and then just extrude these on the Z axis. Extrude on the Z axis. Let um, me turn on vertex snapping. Whoops. Probably should have. Um, um, now everything, this is an issue. <laughs> okay. Um, so what I'll do is I'll go here. I'll go to face select. Let me just go here real quick. Face select these two. Um, make them their own thing and so then I can go here object make sure that I go to relations make single user object data and materials and I'll go to shading its own thing and I'll just delete that material for that and maybe I'll give it just a color just a random color um let me go to my beautiful color picker my favorite online place not not really there's I have a lot of favorite online places all right, so let's go to colors. My computer's really slow today. Oh my god, everybody went to the beach today. Must be nice. Anyway, palette generator. Um, let's see. 
something wants to take its time. Ugh. No. Yes. Love these colors. Okay, let's go to Hex. Go over here. Maybe I should just do this in Eevee, honestly. Probably the same thing. Um, for this one here. Edge select. Extrude. Z. The heck? I meant this one. What is going on? I'm literally telling it to select this edge. Oh wait, are you are you kidding? What the heck? Like what's so hard about it? It's so saddening. Is it because why is there's no I'm so confused. <sighs> You know, I guess I'll just rotate it. Are you kidding? On the X, on the Y, on the Z. There we go. Why doesn't it want to rotate? It's so irritating. On the Z like this, so that alright, and so then from here, I'll just look at it from here, kind of I'm going to layout mode, go into here look at it from this view, maybe something like this. I'll probably do front view. And then do control alt zero. That's really ugly. So let's go to something. Control 